a broken down shack by the railroad track. A little bitty baby cigars back. Hello YouTube, it's me again. I'm uh I'm a lady that I picked up. I already showed another video, but picked up this is an AccuSize one and this is some same goddamn thing. But I decided to put some tooling in here. See, I don't know if you could see me. Let me move it over a little. This is the, of course, how badly could I be prepared for this video again? As bad as it gets. Let me go get a goddamn. All right. Yeah, we help by the freaking Allen key. Fit the goddamn thing. All right, let's stop the video. All right, let's try this again. I uh, picked up two, two more of these because I have one straight. Got a couple more tools here. They're not the biggest in the world, but but yeah. I have to go get an Allen key because the last time I put these in here was over there, my other table, my other bench. So I was, the reason why I bought two more is I don't feel like changing out these damn things every time. I think I still need a boring bar. I don't have a boring bar and I don't have a, <coughs> what is it? A few other minor tools, but, oh, I need a, what do you call it? Um, what the hell is it called again? The, a, what the hell am I thinking of? Oh my God, brain fart. I need a um, dial indicator for this. A friend of mine is supposed to bring me a dial indicator. And I'm still waiting, but I want to buy a cheap. I don't need a super expensive one. But I, I figure I'm not going to buy a, a super cheap one. But my, uh, what is that, Mitutoyo one, I think they're called. But this is where I bought it. Because see, yeah, I can just drop that. And I have to adjust the, them a little better. I have a knurling one. That's pretty gnarly. This one's for a boring one. I probably need at least two more. At least. Because it, at least in order to do some, you know, small amateur machining, I should at least have a, a few amateur bits. And the one thing I don't want to do is keep changing this. Having to do this every single time, rehide it and do the whole thing and set it up. And this way I can set them all in place, drop the tooling in and ta-da! Away you go. Let me put the other one in here. So yeah, I do need some replacement. I have I have some replacement carbide bits. I actually have a whole bunch, but I don't think I have the right tools for them. They're uh, I'm sure somebody's gonna tell me I'm doing this wrong. If so, let me know. I'm not a machinist. I'm just a dude who has a lathe, and I don't do this for a living. I've used this eh, a few times when I've had to, but I got to, I have to find, I got to, I would like to find some tooling that does fit this thing, not tooling, but um, what was I going to say, somebody gave me a whole box of, check this out, ah, I don't know, brand new carbide, but I don't think I have any bits that fits, I think that, See this one, eh, I don't know. I think those are. I think most of these are. Um, what the hell are they called again? Uh, threading bits. So I need to buy a good threading thing. I also have what are these. If I can open the damn thing, let me get this stupid thing open. I got some small ones for. Yeah, I have the, I have some for this one, but I need, like I said, I would like, to, I bought two of them for now, next month. So I have one, two, three, and one, two, three, but I have another tool here. You can hear my shirt jingle, but jingling, because I, I have a right and a left, right and a left hand cutter like this. I'd like to get another one for that, and I'd like to get another one for this hefty chunk here, which is what this one is pretty thick. Made in USA. 
There my I have the knurling one. And I have the cutoff tool. But actually this one I can take out because I have a cutoff tool in here. And I could just put a see this one's this one's a cutoff tool made like that. I could just put the cutoff tool and get a blade for that one. So yeah. I gotta find a place to put this microphone because it's getting in the way. Let me do this. And I know Danny, you wanna see me actually use these tools. Well, before I actually fire this up here, I gotta do a little practice run on here. So, and one of the things I do need before I can get it running and get it all good, I'd like to have, it, I'd like to at least make sure I have a dial indicator because I would like to use the dial indicator. Would be nice. Like to actually dial it in, make sure it's not all wibbly wobbly. And get it working properly. So, yeah. I'm rambling on here while talking friendly. I do have a, what do you call it? I do have a start one, but I need a, um, I need the rest. Actually, this might work. I need a, I need a proper connector on the back. This one works pretty good, but I got to get the little, I got to order a little piece for it. But I would like, to, like I said, I'd, I'd like to buy a little cheap, mid, mid, is it mid, Mitotoyo one? Made in Japan ones. They're not too expensive, like a hundred bucks. And my budget for buying tools is about a hundred bucks every month. I don't buy well, yeah, I do buy, sometimes buy more than that, but see, now I can do right, left, and center cuts. See, now I can do this, knurling, and I can, gotta get a, which we'll call it, which we'll call it, I wonder if that ever will fit. I a, I held it go. I just lost it. Oh, where did you go? Where did you go? That's just carbide. There it is. I wonder if that would fit in there. Maybe. Maybe too small. Might be too small. Anyway, it's my little shop of horrors here. Mine does the job. And I'll see if I can fit this in here. I get the feeling this... What do you call it? Cutoff thing here is a wee bit too small. It'll probably work, but everything says China on it. So, yeah. So, anyway, let me, uh, yeah, it's too small. I need a bigger cutoff bit than this one. This one's way too small for that, but I can use that in one of these blocks. So, yeah. And, like I said, I have a boring bar attachment. And anyway, how long is this video? Seven minutes. I'm going to end it here because I can't upload videos much longer. So like, subscribe, and enjoy.